in the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. My name is Ahmad Mustaba and I am a pharmacist at Meeman Medical Institute Hospital. Today, the topic of my discussion is the establishment of Drug Information Center with its operational standard and logistics. But before I start this video presentation, I would like to clear you all that information provided in this video presentation are only for educational purpose. In this session, you will be able to learn about Drug Information Center with its short history, what are the objectives and functions of Drug Information Center, operational standard with systemic approach for responding are requested, and what logistics is required and lastly what drug information literature sources commonly used and then finally conclude our presentation so basically our uh, drug information center is a specialized medical facility that is able to provide immediate free and expert treatment advice and have an important place in the healthcare process since they provide updated information. Drug information services must be available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week throughout the year and provide information to physicians, nurses, pharmacists and other allied healthcare professionals. According to PAHO, the Pan-American Health Organization, drug information centers are operational units that provide technical and scientific information about drugs in an objective and timely manner. They constitute an optimal strategy to meet particular needs of information. Back to history of Drug Information Center, in 1960s, the term Drug Information was firstly used. After then, in 1962, the foundation of first Drug Information Center were laid at University of Kentucky Medical Center. Practice. When we talk about functions, the Drug Information Center routinely responds to requests regarding drug interactions, efficacy of drugs, appropriate therapy for disease state, adverse drug reactions, identification of foreign drugs, appropriate therapy for specific patient, information, and lastly, information on new or investigational drugs operational standards so what is this operational standard of drug information center so firstly compilation of files on drugs used in different hospitals and pharmaceutical industry when initially established drug information center should rely on assistance of emergency or icu department Standardized recording of inquiries to help in maintaining own registry. Now we talk about the systemic approach for responding. Firstly, identify the requester means consider the health literacy status and professional level of requester. Secondly, obtain background information. Thirdly, categorize the question. Either the question is academic type or patient specific. And lastly, carry out systemic research. Do a systemic research of tertiary, secondary, or primary resources, and if necessary, electronic resources as well. Logistics. When we talk about logistics, logistics that is required when establishing uh, a drug information center. The drug information center should be adequately equipped with typewriters, good quality of printer, and a photocopying machine. 
द स्टोरेज ऑफ केस रिकॉर्ड्स फाइल्स एंड डॉक्यूमेंटेशन रिक्वायर्स एट लीस्ट सफिशेंट बुक शेल्फ एंड फाइलिंग कैबिनेट टू परमिट सिस्टमिक कलेक्शन एंड इजी रिट्रीवल ऑफ दीज फाइल्स केस रिकॉर्ड एंड डॉक्यूमेंटेशन टू टेलीफोन विद अ कंप्यूटर आर मिनिमम रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर एस्टेब्लिशिंग ड्रग इंफॉर्मेशन सेंटर द मिनिमम फर्नीचर नीडेड फॉर न्यू ड्रग इंफॉर्मेशन सेंटर कॉन्सिस्ट ऑफ डेस्क एंड चेयर्स a large work work table a lockable file cabinet with book bookshelves drug information center often has to stock antidotes used in the treatment of poisonings and therefore requires a refrigerator along with a lockable cabinet for storing pharmaceutical agents so the important thing is the work area should be designed to allow 100 to 200 square feet per work station and should be situated in a quiet environment in short it is concluded that concept and functions of drug information center are constant over time and across countries in this era due to increase in availability of new products scientific publications and research it has now become challenge for physicians and to facilitate physicians there will be an increased demand of establishing drug information centers so i hope that you all get the basic introduction about drug information center and what logic sticks and other standard operation standards are required for establishing drug information center thank you once again for listening this video presentation